Hey y'all, good morning, Lady J here. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Um, make sure you like this video. Today, y'all, I guess I'm going to be transparent, but in my transparency, it is definitely a message. So I just want to make sure I make this very, very clear. This hit my doorstep first. And I don't want to make it seem like I didn't know what I was doing when I was doing it because I clearly did. But I feel like the spirit has convicted me so much so to where like I want to share this message so some of you don't keep making the same mistake that I made. So today's topic is going to be soul ties and Soul ties are created when we um, have sexual intercourse with individuals that we're not married to. According to Google, a soul tie is a strong spiritual connection to two people. A soul tie could be said to be a connection from one person's soul or to another person's soul. Like that's deep, y'all. Like for me, when I read that, I was like, oh my goodness. Like I've heard people in the past talk about soul ties, but I never sat down and like study to show myself approved. I never sat down to study to research it on my own until this morning. And again, what brought about this is because I have just recently gone through a breakup and for the last two days, I've been waking up at three in the morning with this individual on my mind and I don't under I didn't understand why, so to speak. But nevertheless, what the Bible says about soul ties um is coming out of Proverbs chapter 10. And I'm gonna give you some context to this. Um in 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 reading Proverbs, it it states it as a prostitute, right? It's giving it as a prostitute talking to it is a father talking to his son about a prostitute and he says my son if sinners entice you do not give in to them do not go along with them do not set foot on their path again the context is talking as far as a prostitute standpoint but the message is relevant to us today basically we are not to be enticed by sexual sin those of us that confess Christ, we know that we shouldn't be fornicating. We shouldn't be laying in bed with individuals we're not married to. We shouldn't be shacking up. We shouldn't be doing any of those things. Why? Because two souls become one. But I'm getting ahead of myself. It says, sleeping with someone creates a spiritual union of souls. Again, one soul, two souls becoming one. God also gives us warning against fornication. Why does God warn us about fornication? Because the two will become one flesh. And that comes out of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16. And essentially what this saying is like when we lay down with individuals that we're not married to, we're operating in a prostitute spirit. You know what I'm saying? We're operating in a Jezebel spirit. You know what I mean? So we got to stop, y'all. A prostitute is just not somebody that stands on the corner and sells their bodies. A prostitute could be an individual, that, a prostitute spirit. And a Jezebel spirit are people operating and sex will see, basically, or uh, whatever. So we have to stay clear from sinful individuals, those that would entice us to fornicate with them, and essentially stay away from a sinful lifestyle. So if we know that individuals want to lay with us, we have to flee, flee from sin and seek righteousness, right? Right. Sexual immorality, sex, Sexual activity is Im sexual immorality sins against one's own body. Those of us that confess Christ are not our own. We were bought at a price. Therefore, we must honor God with our body. When we confess Christ, it is no longer 
about us, but it's about Christ living through us by way of the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? So essentially that's saying we are not supposed to fornicate. We are not to be involved with sexual sin. And if our partners don't respect those boundaries, respect what we're trying to do, then of course we know that individual is not for us. And it gets deeper, y'all. Like, oh my Lord, it gets so, so deeper. But I didn't come to get that deep today. So just something that I want us to think about is sex isn't just an act. God designed sex to unite two people together in marriage. Sex was was designed for marriage. Sex should be done out of love, not activity, not hobby, not to just be doing something. You know what I mean? Because again, two souls become one. You know what I mean? And, and it gets so tricky because say if two individuals are connecting them two souls become one yeah it's good in that moment but if you don't have a mental connection if you don't have substance like in reality what do you really have you're just doing the empty act right but god tells us that everything that we do we do in love you know what i mean so that includes sex so again sex should be an act of love not an activity so you guys, again, this message hit my doorstep because I'm not perfect in this area, um, but I'm tired of being whooped <laughs> by the Holy Spirit about it. So again, I just wanted to come share this um, message with you all again to hit my doorstep first, you know what I mean? And I want us to learn together, grow together. So I felt the need to come and share with you guys. So you guys pray my strength as I pray your strength. And remember, sex should be an act of love, not an activity. Have a wonderful day.